Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Building a Church Farm video series. And it was another busy week at the farm and another great week. The weather was fantastic. It was warm. It was such a good week because we've had so much rain and so much cold. And to be able to, to, to kind of work out there in this on these warm, sunny days was, was so good. Uh, but this week was really primarily focused on spreading out all of the gravel for the greenhouse that will be the foundation for the greenhouse. Uh, we did that pretty quickly thanks to our volunteers. And then we focused on spreading out all of the soil and all of the uh, compost that we had for this 90 by 60 foot space that we're about to farm. Now that is easier said than done. It took a lot of volunteers to get that done. We had to borrow a tractor from a neighbor, thank you so much. And, and then we began spreading that soil out and that soil was, was a little bit wet because of all the rain. It was clumpy. It was hard. Once we got the soil in there with the tractor, we had volunteers to spread that out. That was not easy. And then we did the same thing with the compost. Uh, and then we discovered that we needed more soil. <laughs> and so we got actually double the amount of soil that we previously had. And so we brought all that soil in and then we did the compost. Uh, my son and I on Tuesday evening, we were working, you know, spreading out that compost. He had a great time doing it. It was a lot of fun. He was very helpful. He's only three. And uh, he kept, all week long, he's been saying, can we go back to the farm? Can we go back to the farm? It was a really great experience. Uh, and so uh, then after all of that, we had to till it all up. We had some volunteers who rented a tiller for us. We needed a, a pretty good sized tiller. We couldn't just use a garden tiller. Um, now, and we don't want to till the land because we know that tilling the land is not good for the earth. It takes nutrients out of the earth. And in doing this project, we don't want to harm the earth. And remember, one of John Wesley's three simple rules, do no harm. <clears throat> and so in the future, we're going to use regenerative farming practices. But for this week, we had to till it because we were mixing in the soil from the existing garden, all the soil around that, the new soil, and then all of the compost. And so getting that all mixed in and getting all that together, we had to go over that about three or four times, just back and forth with the tiller. And when you look at it now, that is some dark, rich soil. The compost we brought in from Wilmington Compost Company, that is local compost. It was freshly made. It came from 300 different homes that were providing food waste. It came from local restaurants. This is grade A compost here. This soil is about as rich and dark as you can get it. I am excited to finally put some seedlings in there and to begin growing really soon. And so don't look now, but it looks like a farm out there, folks. It's looking really, really good. Now, next week, we're going to be focused on building the greenhouse. Uh, we only have about five to 10 hours of work left with that. Uh, we also will we'll get on the calendar for the electrician who will bring electricity to the pump and also to the barn and then the, the irrigation. And we're getting very close, my friends, to, to really doing some serious farming out there. But we invite you to come out there, take a look. If you want to be a volunteer and get on the volunteer list, email the church and let us know and we'll get you on that email list and Julia will email you uh, to get you uh, engaged with the farm. And so blessings, my friends. Have a great week and I'll see you next week.